I'm Bob Strupp, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Bob, what are you doing over there on the floor? Right, I'm, I'm on the floor and I want to get up. <laughs> Why, are on the floor? Floor? Why are you on the floor, Bob? I don't, I'm not going to question why people are on the floor, but when they end up on the floor, we're going to show them how to get up. Okay. Okay. And I think this is a really good video. You know, we talk about being 40 and over, and these right. people are 40 and 50, and it's their parents who end right. up on the floor. And so we're going to show you how to get up from the floor by yourself, mm -hmm. and then we're going to also show you in the set next video how to help someone get off the floor in case maybe someone that you know needs help because it is a very difficult thing to do. You bet. So, all right, you're on the floor for whatever reason. If you've fallen and you broke something or something hurts, you should try to yell for help first. And, and But if there's nobody there, there's no phone nearby, you don't have the alert, you're going to have to try to get up. Right. I mean, and, and, and the alert Bob was talking about, a lot of times people have a, the call button, it's just a button and it'll call for help, you know, to work really well. Right, and in case, let's say, let's say my leg does hurt on this side. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll act as though my leg does hurt a little bit. If it's a broken hip, you're kind of screwed because there's really not much you can do. You're not gonna be able to get up on a broken hip. Right, yeah. But let's say this one's hurting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll onto my good side first. So first I'm gonna bring my legs up. One and then two, Good. and then I'm gonna, if you have trouble rolling, you can bring your both arms up like this, and you're gonna help yourself roll over to the side like this. Get a little momentum yeah. going. Now, you bring this leg forward, and now I'm gonna use this arm to push up, along with my elbow here. There you go. Okay, now I'm up onto my elbow. Now I'm gonna try to get up even further, and now while I'm in this position, you just move forward a little bit, and you get right onto your knees, all right? Now this was the leg that was hurting, so I'm going to actually have to put the other leg up. There's no other way around this if I'm, I'm trying to kind of get up without a chair. And this is probably one of the hardest things for most people. Yeah. Because there's a, you need some strength here. And I'm walking my way up. I don't know if you can see this, Nancy. And I'm putting one leg, arm here. Right here. And another one right here. And I'm going to push up. This is going to be the toughest part right there, trying right, to get up. Right, right. Yeah, so he's here, one arm here and here, and this really takes a lot, you know, a fair amount of strength if you're older and, or weak for whatever reason. And right the there, the Brad would be the chair. You want to show how, how you just, once you get to that point, right. you're on your knees, you, you can crawl over to a chair. Right. So, you know, and I've talked to people who have fallen and they literally climb to the, you know, however they could get to the furniture. Right. Slide to it. Yeah. So they get closer to the sofa or the couch or the chair, whatever it may be, get to this point, get that stronger leg up, and it might be this one. And yeah, because then the you can right over. over here. Then you don't have to go over here. You can walk yourself up using those arms. And you don't even have to get all the way up. You can just kind of go halfway up and slide your butt over onto the chair. Sure. So right? yep. You bet. So you can get here and right. get over to here. In particular, if you if you're wondering if you hurt that hip that hurt that that had that fallen on, because you're you know getting the seated position, and then reassess yourself. And if you want to try to stand up, you know use your judgment. Again, the best thing to do is get to a phone and get someone over to help you. One lady mentioned that too, that she um, would actually put a pillow down. She's the one that we, where we're doing this video. Hi, by the way. Um, is that she put a pillow down and, and to, to get onto her knees to help her. To so it's more comfortable. The big thing is, you know, you got to figure out the way to prevent the falls. The other thing is to have one of those alerts on or maybe have your cell phone with you all the time right. to make sure that right. you can, can call in case you're, you're in the problems here. You bet. So look for our next video and we'll show you how it helps get somebody up from the, the, the floor or supine position, I was going to say. Kind of hard to get that up. <laughs> when you get older, sometimes <laughs> talking is to be an issue. So once again, we got another video on how to help your mother or father get up off the floor or whoever it may be. Um, so say no more. Please.